Welcome everybody to a fiery episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. Fiery meaning arson. That's right, someone sent me a clip today and said this one is YouTube gold. I click it and sure enough, man, it's going to be a good one today. It's a jailhouse interview, all right? We've done a few videos like this where the reporters for the news channel go in and speak to the inmate, get their two cents on it. Usually the inmates doing these interviews are just claiming their innocence. Like, man, why am I even in jail? This is absurd. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you enjoy this type of content, all things lock up and crime related, then this is where you want to be. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave, and check out my playlist with many more videos for you to start watching today. All right, here we go. It don't have his name up here or nothing. All it says is jailhouse interview with Norfolk man accused of arson. You know, uh, I've done a couple of these, like I said, and some of them have been found to be innocent. So I haven't done my research on this guy's case. I still haven't even figured out his name. Either way, always keep that in mind. They haven't went through trials. So as far as we know, this man is innocent until proven guilty. What happened yesterday to put you in this position that you're in today? Um, they put the cuffs on me and brought me down here. They put handcuffs on me and walked my ass on in. They said that I started a fire at my own house. I wasn't even there. Oh. They, he's well, he's did innocent. Did not start a fire in your house? I did not start a fire at my house. I Well, I mean, I've started fires there before. I got a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, I haven't even seen it yet. I haven't even seen it yet. They only told me what happened. So I can only assume that it was my house. I haven't seen it yet. But no, I didn't start my You're house You're being accused fire. of setting fire to your own house. Arson, I know what I'm being accused of. Okay. Arson, yeah. But you were not there. What you're saying is you were not there. I was there earlier in the evening, but not, no, I wasn't where, there. Where, where were you at 4 o'clock in the morning? At my girlfriend's house. Don't tell her. I mean, no, tell her. She was there. Oh, man, the innocent route just cut left. The guilty side's looking a little bit brighter right now. I wasn't where, there. Where, where were you at 4 o'clock in the morning? At my girlfriend's house. Don't tell her. I mean, no, tell her. She was there. Do you have any idea? What... I didn't mean to tell you that I had a girlfriend. Do you have any idea what started that fire? No clue. Probably a flame. Yeah, a flame, ma'am. Heat, fuel, and oxygen. Fire. Uh, Why do you think you're being accused of arson then? Fire Marshal Bill here. The police hate me. Yeah, they're trying to make me look bad, really bad. Um, I spend a lot of time out of the country. I work for the government. I was military. Ooh. If you guys know what a super soldier is. You're looking at one, okay? If you know what Where have we driven this morning? Bobby, this is the wrong neck of fucking town. Wait, hold on. You were ready for this? Bobby's on his conspiracy shit today. This guy's saying he's a straight up super soldier. Looking more forward to seeing what he's about to say than Christmas morning. They're trying to make me look bad. Why do you think they're trying to make you look bad? I, that I don't know. I'd like to find that out. You're a if super you soldier. Set the fire, who set the fire? Good question. I hope they're still looking for him. There's been people breaking in and out of my house ever since I got back out of the country, or into the country. Spent a lot of time in Australia the last couple, three years, amongst other places. Um, but what you're saying is that you did not start that fire. No, I did not start the fire. No. Then why why did they I, I love that house. I was trying to fix the house up. I was in the middle of a remodel, as a matter of fact. The house was not finished yet. I wasn't done. How am I supposed to know who started the fire? I wasn't there. Well, you've been accused of it. I've been accused of a lot of stuff I haven't done. Drunk in public. They get me for drunk in public every chance they can get. I'm not drunk in public. They don't even need to give you a breathalyzer. You're drunk in public. Come with us. And while we're at it, why are you being so disorderly conduct? And did you just resist arrest oh my god hey assault on a police officer i have all those and i didn't do any of them how many times have you been arrested walters help me out here a bunch why mm. what have you been arrested for super soldier what super have you been arrested soldier for? drunk in public disorderly conduct assault assault on a police officer drunk in public drunk in public drunk in public mm. That was, I was those... sober. I was sober in my house one night. They grabbed me by the arm, drug me outside, beat me up on the street, and said, "Hey, now you're drunk in public." Okay, all those times, <laughs> all those times you were arrested, were they warranted? No. 
What do you mean? All the time? Were they warrant? I mean, I think they had a warrant. No, but no, no, no. They were, I know what you're saying. They, no, it wasn't justified. So, mm -hmm, all no. these times you've been arrested have, have One not time, been your fault. I shot my brother with a BB gun. I was, well, on purpose. That, I did. That was assault on a family member in self-defense. They arrested me for assault on a family member with a brandishing a firearm and all. I did that one. Other than that one, I didn't do any of them. Let's just recap here. This guy's house burnt down. He says he didn't do it. He says he's a super soldier. But he ends up defending himself from his own brother with a BB gun. I don't know, man. But to me, if someone was a super soldier, I don't even think they would own a BB gun. It'd be nothing but the real deal 360, right? All the way around. One of your neighbors said yesterday that you told them come September something was going to happen. Did you ever say that? No. Who are these neighbors? Which... <laughs> Almost every person around your house. Wow. Said that That's interesting. Come oh, September man. something's going to happen. After. That's it. I find that really interesting. They uh, no. Me too. I never said that. Come September. It already I is September. I believe them. No, you're here on charges. You're saying you had nothing to do with the fire, correct? I, no, I had nothing to do with the fire. I was hoping I could finish that remodel on my house. I really did. I love that house. How did you the, find out about the fire? Somebody sent me a text message because my girlfriend doesn't have the news. She doesn't have TV at all. Um, somebody sent me a text message. says, hey, I think she took a picture of the news, you know what I mean? And sent it to me and I was like, whoa, that's my house. Mm. I immediately called my mother in Maine. She's like, you better go over there right away. And then I got arrested. So who who do you think who started it? I took myself over there. I drove, I drove my little moped over there at that point. How do you think it was started? Super soldier on a moped. Fuel, oxygen, and heat make fire. You must be pretty angry, pretty frustrated being in here for charges I you say try, you Yeah, I mean, I'm, it does get a little frustrating. I try not to get angry. I think a lot of times police charge people with what they've done. No, not always. Sometimes they fake it. Trust me. And you're still saying that you did not start that fire. Uh, yeah, no. I Why do they think you started that fire? Well, <laughs> they said they found some gasoline. I mean, there was gas. I got gasoline in my house all over the place. I got gas in the shed. I got gas in my tool room. I use gas to wash my hands to get the grease and stuff off my hand. It works great. I, mm. you so I, I checked the oil in my car. I got a wood splitter, well, wood like, chipper, all these things. Chainsaw, take gasoline. I got five cords of wood in my backyard to burn this winter. Not anymore. Why do you think they're targeting you then? Super, Super soldier. soldier. Oh, okay. I can't say much more than that. What did they tell you why they thought you <laughs> I'm better than them. I'm better than them. Why did you, when they told you they had you for under arrest, why did they tell you why they thought you did it? They, they know took, because they, they charged you with arson. Well, they, did, they didn't charge me with arson until 6 p.m. last night. While I was, I was down at the operations center on Virginia Beach Boulevard, the police, right? Apparently they found some clothes that I had at my girlfriend's house. One, there was a trace of gasoline on something in there. And because they found some gasoline fumes at the house, that means I started the fire. I don't, I just ain't gonna stick. That can't stick, I got a lawyer. Are you Come upset find about me. anything? I mean, your whole house is gone if you didn't start the I fire. mean yeah I'm, I mean what is there I mean being upset would just be a waste of time at this point because yeah I know I gotta start making a list of all the stuff I had there's gonna be insurance I had were, a lot of stuff. Were you living there at the time? On and off yeah not really I was trying to work on the house I've been staying with my girlfriend. How we long, own, how we long own, have you lived there? We own Pelzer's Antique Store on First View and Ocean View. Pelzer's Antiques and Portage. How long, how long have you had that house? Oh since I'm gonna say 11 years now. 12 years? So you live on and off, you lived Well, my brother lived, lived there mostly because um, I was always out of the country. So the house is vacant right now? It, it was vacant? That night it was, yeah. I mean, I come and go. I but check you, that's in. that's your home address? That is my home address, okay. yes. I, yes. And I was in the process of paying that place off. It's almost done. When was the last time you were in that house? That night. That night, what time? there was somebody. I noticed that someone was stealing some stuff. I was trying to find out who was going in there. I had been back and forth that day, probably five or six times, just popping in, going, "Who is stealing all my stuff? My guitars were missing. Someone was stealing my stuff." You know, I like guitars. Not that can happen in Norfolk, anymore, but I still like them. Sure. I still want them. I bought them. Anywhere, gone. anywhere, anywhere. And I haven't had a chance to inventory everything else, but I guess I go sift through the rubble next chance I get and see what else they stole. Have you had a bond hearing yet? No. Okay. They always hold me without a bond. 
right. that they love me that much. Have you spent time in jail? I've never been convicted of anything, but yes, I've spent quite a bit of time in jail. No, I've never been convicted of a crime that would put me in jail, not yet. They, I'm being held against my will with no bond for no reason. Again. Well, I mean, that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think about this one? Uh, it's definitely on the far end of the spectrum, right? One thing that was consistent, though, throughout the whole thing was he is definitely, to him at least, a super soldier. But who am I to say this guy's lying, right? I don't know. I don't know nothing about him. There could be vampires and werewolves out there as well. I personally just wanted to watch it for entertainment value, so hopefully y'all were entertained as well. But I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Who knows what's going to be coming y'all's way next. One thing for sure, though, it will be lockup related. But as always, until the next time, y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.